It is proposed that Russell Marion Nelson be sustained as prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. All in favor, please indicate by the uplifted hand. The Lord impressed upon my mind the importance of the name he decreed for his church, even the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And uh, that's not negotiable. So it's not Mormon's church, it's not Moses' church, it's the Church of Jesus Christ. How can we take the gospel in its simple purity and the ordinances with their eternal efficacy to all of God's children? As Latter-day Saints, we have become accustomed to thinking of church as something that happens in our meeting houses, supported by what happens at home. It is time for a home-centered church, supported by what takes place inside our branch ward and stake buildings. The Sunday meeting schedule was not simply shortened. Rather, we now have increased opportunities and responsibilities to use our time for enhancing the Sabbath as a delight at home and at church. We have made the decision to retire home teaching and visiting teaching. We will implement a newer, holier approach to caring and ministering to others. We will refer to these efforts simply as ministering. Elders' quorums will be strengthened to bless the lives of men, women, and children throughout the world. The high priests and the elders will now be combined into one elders' quorum. Young men presidencies at the ward level will be discontinued. These faithful brethren have done much good and we express appreciation to them. It is our hope that Bishop Ricks will give great emphasis and focus to the priesthood responsibilities of young men and help them in their quorum duties. Today, we introduce the whole children and youth program. Built around a gospel core, this is our single church effort for all our youth and children everywhere. Our great desire is for you to strengthen your faith in Jesus Christ and to help you and your family progress along the covenant path as you meet life's challenges. The new program brings together your gospel learning, activities and service, and personal development as you choose to grow and serve. At the heart of all we do in Young Women is our desire to help you gain unshakable faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. As you draw closer to Him, you will discover the lasting peace that settles into your soul as a faithful disciple of our Savior, Jesus Christ. We want to bring temples closer to the expanding membership of the Church. We invite all of God's children on both sides of the veil to come unto their Savior, receive the blessings of the Holy Temple, have enduring joy, and qualify for eternal life. Now, whether you are diligently moving along the covenant path, have slipped or stepped from the covenant path, or can't even see the path from where you are now, nothing is more liberating, more ennobling, or more crucial to our individual progression than is a regular, daily focus on repentance. When Jesus asks you and me to repent, He is inviting us to change our mind, our knowledge, our spirit, even the way we breathe. He's asking us to change the way we love, think, serve, spend our time, treat our wives, teach our children, care for our bodies. Repentance is not an event. It's a process. It is the key to happiness and peace of mind. When coupled with faith, Repentance opens our access to the power of the Atonement of Jesus Christ. 
the Lord said, I will hasten my work in its time. And he makes good on his promises. If you think the church has been fully restored, you're just seeing the beginning. Wait till next year. And then the next year. Eat your vitamin pills. Get your rest. <laughs> it's going to be exciting.